Conrad, just your thoughts about your first camp now. The rock's been broken, but now you've been here for one full camp. Uh, how's that feel? Yeah, it feels good. Just be able to grow with everybody, gain new relationships and new connections with everybody. So I really appreciate the coaching staff, my teammates, because without them, I wouldn't be nothing to help me grow every day. So I appreciate the older guys who are looking out for me and helping me fix my mistake. Who are some of those older guys that have helped you fix your mistakes and come along quicker? Uh, Shaheen Brown, Keen, uh, Kevin Knowles, Greedy. Uh, yeah, that's it. And what are your first impressions of Coach Sertan as your official coach? I mean, you know, obviously you knew yeah. him from before, but now he's yeah. officially your coach every day. So Coach Sertan be looking out for me, so I appreciate that. He makes sure I get extra film time in so I can really knock down the play, so I really appreciate him. He showed real love and James. He's like a father. What is it uh, like defending receivers like these in Florida State versus high school? I mean, well, I came from a school with Mason Taylor, so I'm kind of used to playing against <laughs> like a big tight end. Yeah. But like, it's just more of a challenge, so I got to play the competition. That's all. Yep. And then over the middle of the field, too, with, I mean, you said you've gone against good competition, but Jaheim Bell mm -hmm. and, and Marquise and Douglas, these are different yeah. size guys compared to high school. Yeah, they're going to make me work for sure. So we had our battle. So we always go at it every day in practice and they make sure I'm at my best. I make sure they're at their best. So we make sure iron, iron, sharp and iron. Where did you feel like you grew the most over this fall camp? Uh, mentally, I grew and technique-wise, I grew. And being able to communicate with others on the field. So what's next for you as you get into the season? Uh, what are some things that you want to work on as you get into week to week and regular college football rather than a camp? Uh, communicating more, just making sure me and my teammates come around and just study film, just making sure everything on point because we don't want to have no mistakes. We want to be perfect. What's the locker room like here at Florida State? What's the culture like? Well, that's one crazy culture because we always it's just a brotherhood. It's like it's just a lovely brotherhood. Like when Florida State mean it's about brotherhood and family. It's really brotherhood and family. We ain't going that locker room. Everybody make sure they good. Everybody make sure we okay. We always there for each other. What uh, do you expect to be the atmosphere in Orlando? It's just eight days away, a little less than eight days. What's that going to be like for you running out of that tunnel as a Florida State Seminole? It's going to be it's going to be a different feeling. But I'm just happy to take the field with my teammates and just show the world what FSU can do. When you have a week of school coming up and you have to think about that game all week, just how do you stay focused? Uh, it's just being responsible, keeping everything on track, putting school first and having time to study. Are you guys close together, like the, the true freshman defensive backs? Because you've already made noise. Coach Norvell talks about you. Coach Fuller talks about you. Are you guys close-knit already? Yeah, me, KJ, Elwin, Jabril, Q, everybody close. We always stay in contact with each other, and we study late night to make sure we knock down the plays and everything. Is that something that started once you got here, or were you guys talking after signing day? Before it started once me and Evan got here. Good.